What's up, YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full Intimidate team. Uh, wh were you intimidating, guys? Anyways, so we have six Pokemon with the ability Intimidate. Um, I took a couple from that list, and I just took some other random ones as well. Uh, quite a few people have actually commented with this team, so I did a randomized search on my comments and um, got that one out for Mystery Monday. Leave your theme teams in the comment section below. As usual, people, any feedback would be wonderful on the video too. Okay, uh, this is a battle against Iron Blaze on my chat. We have a course solar lead here. Now, um, all my Pokemon obviously had the ability Intimidate, which helped out very, very much against physical users. I've um, had some pretty funny battles. Like one time, I just kept deliberately swapping to be an ass. Anyway, so we have uh, Corsola. I was hoping that it would be like a uh, offensive uh, head smash set uh, rather than like a bulky you know, scolding regenerator set. Now it's going to go for the head smash, which is good there. Does a fair chunk of damage to my quillfish. Now this quillfish is a max uh, health, max defense uh, set with here. With the uh, black sludge, I've also got on this, I've got stockpile, I've got pain split, toxic and veno shock on it there. So it's a little bit of a mixed one. Normally runs physical moves. I thought I'd give the veno shock a little bit of a whirl on it. Right, I'll get to the mighty anyone in a second there anyways. All right, uh, so cannot do absolutely anything to my wild. The only thing I can do is pain split, and I'm not sure it's going to go for sword dance. Sit up on me. Got to go into Gyarados. Okay, so this Gyarados was a choice scar. Uh, sorry, a choice spec set. I've run this a couple of times. This is a Hydro Pump, Hurricane, Thunder, and Fire Blast set. Here I went for the Fire Blast, hoping they stay in, but they swapped out, which sucks. Kingler's going to come into that one, even though it resists it, it takes a lot of damage, which was really nice. So it was a three hit KO. Didn't quite do over half health, so I'm going to have to swap in there and swap out into Quillfish. Uh, definitely thinking Kingler was going to be a physical set there. Get the Intimidate up on the Kingler. I'm going to say that a lot. Get the Intimidate up. Anyway, so it's going to get the Sword Dance up. Now it's got plus one in attack there. Got to get rid of this thing, so I'm going to go for the Toxic Gear on my Quillfish, which is nice because it can't miss. It's a Poison type. Now the Kingler is going to knock off my Black Sludge, doing a lot of damage there. It's also got the Life Orb, so it really is doing a lot of damage. I need to take this thing out desperately. Okay, so I got the I got the Toxic up there. I was thinking since Quillfish is on like fairly low health and its speed isn't all that bad, I got the Intimidate ability. I thought I, I might be able to get a Pain Spit off maybe later on in the battle, so I swapped it out. Went to Stantler, so I thought, well, I've got the Z Crystal on Stantler. And another Intimidate, so I'm quite confident I could take the knockoff there. Um, even if it wasn't that great, I could get it. But it's going to go for the Crab Hammer and take me out of the crit. I'm like, oh. So that's my uh, Stantler down. So I'm, I'm, I'm not even salty about that at all. So uh, I need to get rid of this Kingler. It's taken out my Stantler. I'm, I'm rather salty about that. Bring in my Taurus here. This is a max speed, max attack Taurus with Intimidate. On this, I had Retaliate. It's just a nice move. I wasn't locking myself into it like a band or a scarf or anything this time. Um, I also had Zen Headbutt on this just to hit fighting types. I had Pursuit on this uh, to hit ghosts and trap things in. I also had Outrage on it. And my item was Perison Berry, so I could lock myself into Outrage and not get confused by it and just heal my confusion uh, straight away on the second or third turn when it runs out. All right, so Jinx is going to kiss my... Ball, balls, ball, my ball. Anyways, uh, that was yeah, that was the best commentary ever. Um, I'm going to fall asleep there, but I went for the pursuit here. Jinx is going to know. Uh, they're going to know because I went for that. Um, G the uh, sleeping animation actually came up there. I can't believe I actually said that. Anyway, so Kvassin is going to go for the protect there. I actually stayed in for once. I thought I'd play it like different and stay in with a sleepy Pokemon, which I normally don't do. Um, unless it's a terrible, terrible watch up. I don't want to swap out. Anyways, I wake up there. Go for the Zen headbutt. After having uh, lots of Zen time asleep. And uh, that's going to take my uh, the, their Kabuskin out in one shot there. So it clearly wasn't an Everlight. It must have been some crazy ass sweeping one. I don't even know. So we have, of course, Solo coming back in here. It's got Regenerator. I'm going to swap out the uh, Tauros there. And I'm going to swap in Quillfish here just to take whatever hit it throws at me. Got the Intimidate up on it anyway. Man, I'm going to get sick of saying that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so Corsola's going to go for the Spike Cannon, which is cool. Um, since it's not Stab and I got the Intimidate up, I'm a... <laughs> fuck's sake. And I'm a defensive wall. I'm going to be taking that one rather nicely. Okay, Corsola is swapping out there. The Mawile is going to come in here. Going for the Pain Split there. I predicted that swap in that time. And uh, getting lots of my health and doing some damage to Mawile. So that was really good there. Um, even I don't have my item, it's it's an, it's nicer. I can use my Quillfish later on in the game. All right, now swapping in Stoutland. This is my special defensive wall. It still is rather bulky there with max health and max special defense. Now it's going to go for Crunch on me. It doesn't do a hell of a lot of damage, and it's also got the Rocky Helmet. Um, I'm holding that one. That's going to do some nice damage to it. And now it's going for Iron Head. Here I went for the rest there, and it crisped me. I'm like, 
I'm like, Salt. So that's my uh, special defense tank down there. So that's two Pokemon that went down to crit. So yeah, I, the, the, salt, the, the salt levels were rising. So swapping in Taurus here, I really couldn't do much here. I almost went for Pursuit. I thought, nah, I better not go for it in case they predict that and go for Iron Head or something like that. Now the Casola is going to come in. I really couldn't touch this Casola with a barge pole at the moment. So I, I, I really had to get rid of it. Casola was a problem. I've always wanted to say that. Anyway, so the Zen Headbutt misses. Now the Casola is going to go for the Earthquake there. Um, probably predicting the uh, the Quillfish uh, swapping, which was nice, but I I did have a little feeling they may be predicting that and go for something different. Now they're going to swap out their Casola going into Drapion here. I went for the Zen Headbutt. Obviously, that's not going to affect it there. Okay, so I have to swap out Tauros. Uh, Drapion has nice bulk in special defense. Swapping in Gyarados here. Now I've got the Intimidate up, which I never, you know, never saw that one coming. And uh, now it's going to go for Sludge Bomb. So it's a special set there, doing a fair bit of damage to me and also poisoning my Gyarados. Um, yeah, there's no way I can swap anything else to this. I don't really want to swap uh, the Quillfish into this in case it's got like a ground type move there too. So Gyarados is going to go down there. So things are not looking very good at the moment. I really have to get back into this game. Okay, so now swapping your Mighty Ena. Okay, this was a cool set. I made use of the move Assurance. Now, what Assurance does, if you take damage in the same turn, it goes from a 60 base power move to like a 120 base power. So it's very uh, it's very powerful. I went for the Play Rough there. does about half health to the Kosala there. Went for the uh, Sucker Punch on the Kosala. Instead of going for the Head Smash, it went for the Spike Cannon. This is a bulky Mighty Ener 2 with Intimidate, a max health and max attack. Brave Nature trying to make use of that assurance. Also had Sucker Punch on it, um, Play Rough, and I'm trying to think of the other move I had on it. Hmm, that'll come to me in a second. I probably already used that, just being me. Anyway, so going for the insurance there. Uh, insurance, assurance. And, uh, well, uh, you know what, guys? I hope I hope the Corsola did have insurance because it was fainted. Now Jinx comes in here. It's going to go for the lovely Cleus uh, there on my Mighty Ener. I went for insurance there. I predicted that one. I didn't really want to swap into any other Pokemon there as well. So Mighty Ener is going to be a sleep out. Now I was thinking... Should I stain or should I swap out? They're going to swap in their Mawile. I actually stayed in there. Um, I didn't want to. I thought that'd be a good matchup there for me, so I thought I'd stay in that one. Also, had an Assault Vest as my item there too, so I thought I'd have a bulky Mighty Ena. Swapping into Quillfish there, getting the Intimidate up on the Mawile. Man. Okay, so now it's going to go for the Play Rough on my Quillfish. It's just doing absolute monkeys to me. Uh, there, so I was thinking, well, let's go for Pain Smith there, do a little bit of damage. I thought it may outspeed me, but, but it didn't, so I actually did more damage to me than the Mawile did to me. However, it's not too bad because the Crunch, I just hang on on six, six health there. Now I'm able to get a Pain Smith up, getting a little bit more damage than I was before on the Mawile, so that turned out rather well. Uh, there's not much Quillfish can really do there, so it's going to go down to uh, the play rough there, and that's Quillfish out of the picture, but he did it, you know, he did a pretty damn good job. Okay, so I've got two Pokemon left. I've got, I've got to get back into this game. Now I was thinking, well, Drapion, Jinx, Mawile. None of them are going to like taking a Retaliate. Mawile's going to die if they stay in. Now the Drapion comes in. So I was like, this is good. This was the Pokemon I was a little bit worried about, you know, because it's base defense. Does three-quarter damage there with Retaliate. It's like, that's really good. I know that I can outspeed. I've got Jolly Nature. Go for Retaliate again, and that is Drapion down, which is nice. Now, the only Pokemon I had to get rid of was the Mawile and the Jinx which had Lovely Kiss. Now, I wasn't sure um, what its other moves were. It didn't actually show any. So, Mawile's going to come in here. I'm guessing, I was thinking it might go for Sucker Punch on me. So, swapping into Mawile, uh, sorry, uh, Mighty in there. Anyway, getting Intimidate off uh, as, as well, just in case. They're going to double swap there and go back into Jinx. I was like, hmm, this is interesting. Now, uh, this Jinx uh, went for, I actually, sorry, I went for the Sucker Punch here. I didn't wake up. Jinx goes for the Zen Headbutt. So it's a physical Jinx, maybe expecting my Taurus to come back in. I did nearly swap there, but I didn't. Um, I thank God. And now Mawile's going to come in here. I wake up. I'm going to get the Assurance off there, even though I didn't get a boost from getting hit that turn. It's enough to take out the Mawile there. I get a crit. I'm not sure if that mattered. It could have mattered, but um, I did have the Sucker Punch afterwards, so I'm not too sure. Anyway, so the last Pokemon is the Jinx there. Uh, here, I went for the Assurance. They're going to go for an Ice Punch. Hype, it's a physical set. Uh, there, I'm going to go for Insurance since I'm a bulky set, and that's definitely going to take out Jinx there with 120 base power. And that is game. I hope you guys enjoy this. Some really cool sets on both sides there, and uh, some cool Pokemon. 
that course hollow though. Anyways, uh, that was an absolute pain in the ass trying to get rid of that thing. All right, this is the battle against Nathan on my chat. Now we have a Articuno lead here, and I've got my Stantler. Since I've seen Articuno, I'm, I'm like, I hope it's not a stally one because I'm not going to enjoy this. All right, so this was a scummy um, stomp set there. We also had Bite there, so I'm trying to get as much hacks as I possibly can. And I'm going off the... Uh, I also had me first on this, and I'm also going off the Z-Crystal 1 stomp there. I know, right, guys, that, that Mega Power. All right, uh, so that doesn't get a flinch on Articuno, which sucks. That's kind of what I wanted to get. It's going to poison me with the Toxic. So I'm guessing after seeing Toxic, that's probably going to be a stalling set. It's most definitely going to have something like Roost, uh, that sort of thing. Anyway, so going for the Stomp there, seeing fairly good damage. Now it's going to set up Hail. I'm like, oh, okay. It's going to be a scummy uh, Snowvale set or whatever the hell is. Just going to uh, you know, evade all the moves in the Hail. Okay, I really got to get rid of this thing. So I thought... I could probably start missing with Stomp or I could start roosting up again. Let's go for the Z move and try and take this thing out. I got like I got to take this thing out. Um, that was uh, that was what I was thinking at this point in the game. So I just popped the Z move really early on in the match. I don't didn't really want to do that, but that's yeah that that's uh, I didn't have much choice. All right, so going for the Z move anyway. There, I love how soon Stanley uses Z move. It actually doesn't look too angry. It's just like. I don't know. It's just like, looks like it's like really sleepy or got a hangover or something like that. Anyway, so it's going for the Z move. It's, it's tucking its head in. Man, that looks so savage there. Unfortunately, since it came off Stomp, it did like absolutely bugger all. And uh, now Articuno is going to get a freaking roost up. So I'm like, yay. So I can't do anything to that. It's going to be our toxic stormy out or every day of the week. I've got to swap out. You know, I don't have any choices in the matter. It's also got the uh, hail um, and the leftovers happening too. Okay, so I'm thinking... Well, I can save Stantler for later on there. It might be able to clean up a couple of kills or get me something later on the game. So let's swap it in, in later on. Okay, so since this uh, had Toxic, I thought Quillfish is a nice swap in here. Plus, I can get the Toxic on the Articuno. That'd be very handy. Now the Articuno is going to go for a Sky Drop. So it's a, uh, it's a stalling set with Sky Drop and Toxic, which is nice. Those are a very nice combo. It's also got Roost and Howl. So it's, it's going to be a really like bulky, bulky set. So if I can get a Toxic on this... That's really nice there. Okay, so now it's going to hit me with the Sky uh, sky Drop there. Since I'm running a defensive set, it's going to do nothing uh, to my Quillfish. I can't get Poison either, which is really, really good. Okay, so I've got the Poison on the Articuno. So that's basically shut down there. If it tries any stalling games, it's just going to you know, take itself out in Poison damage, which is good there. So I was, I was happy with that result there. And I wasn't able to lose my Stantler in the process. I mean, I burnt my Z move, but I would have, you know, I, I, I like that trade off there, getting the Poison on the Articuno. Um, anyways, so I was thinking, well, Articuno is definitely not going to stay in this matchup. There's nothing they can do to me, so I'm going to double swap here. I actually predicted another Pokemon to come in. Um, it wasn't the Chime Echo, but I thought I'd swap my um, my Mighty in into this one. Uh, sorry, my Stantler into this one, which wasn't the greatest one. I was I was kind of picking between Mighty in and Stantler. I wish I'd pick Mighty in. And now, anyways, uh, so. With this one, I thought I could go for Stomp there, try or Bite. I decided to go for Bite, see if I could get some flinch action happening there. It does nice damage there to Chimeco. Um, it's also got uh, Rocky Helmet. I'm like, what the fuck? So now it's going to go for the Charge Beam there, spin its little bell, and that's going to take me out there with the Toxic Damage. It also gets a boost from the Dazzling Gleam. So this was such a good opportunity here. I was thinking... It's got a boost there. It's going to stay in against my mining in it because I know that it's got... I know that most of the sweeping ones have got Dazzling Gleam to hit Dark Types. So it's like, I could really make my use of Assurance on my Mighty E now. I've got the Brave Nature. I know that I'm going to go second. Okay, so now it's going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. Since I've got Assault Vest, I take that one and Max Health. I'm able to get Assurance off and that's going to absolutely demolish Chimeco there. So that was really cool. Um, it's a very interesting move there. Quite situational. So even with the Rocky Helmet there, I actually do live that, which is nice. So I can still make use of things like Sucker Bunch. All right, so this is where problems start to happen. Auss Aussie Swag. Okay, okay, cool. This, I actually made the like the worst misclick in a little while. So it's going to go for the Defense Girl here. So I was like, hmm, what's this going to do? Is it going to be a stalling set or is it going to go for like freaking rollout or something? I wasn't sure. Um, those sort of things. So swapping into Quillfish there anyway, I wanted to get a... Um, I just wanted to see what I could do to this. I'll get Intimidate off and maybe a Pain Spit. So now it's going to go for a rollout. I'm like, okay, I thought it was going to do that. So it's going to be locked into rollouts there. Okay. So I, I got to get rid of this thing. The problem is I couldn't Toxic. I couldn't do anything like that to it. And I do the best, you know, I, I did the best, like, uh, misclick here in the world. It's going to creep me with a rollout here. I was like, and then I went, I, I went for Pain Spit and I freaking pressed Toxic. You know how that happens? Yeah. Um, 
So at this point, I was pretty, I was, I was quite salty there. Okay, so now it's going to go for the rollout on my uh, quillfish there again. And of course, it's going to be just enough for me to live and hang on on one health. I was like, wow, I was so close. And I was able to get maximum um, pain split damage onto the Kamala. So that worked out rather well. That misclick, the crit, like everything worked out so well there. The problem was this thing was starting to hit rather hard there. So Quillfish is going to go down to the rollout. So that was the fourth rollout there. So I was like, holy, this is a third or fourth rollout. So th I needed to get rid of this thing. Okay, so since it's locked into the rollout there, I knew that it couldn't play any defensive curl, mind games, or sucker punch. So going for sucker punch there, just kind of misses the kill. Then it's got the red card. I'm like, oh no, something's going to swap into the, like the max rollout and get absolutely shrek there. So Taurus is going to drag out. Fortunately, I've got the Intimidate there, but I was wondering if this was going to be enough to actually starve off the damage that this rollout was going to do to the Taurus. And yeah, nope. <laughs> that still did a lot of damage. Down goes my Taurus. Rip. So uh, nice uh, nice set there. I like it. Okay, so swapping in Mighty now. Since the rollout is gone here, I was thinking, would it be too obvious to go for the Sucker Punch? I thought, no, nah, that'd be that'd be like way too obvious to go for. Let's go for it, but it didn't work. They're going to go for the Defense Curl. So I was thinking, okay... It's going to start the little mind games. They're going, to, they're going to start to happen. Wait for the Sucker Punch again. It's going to fail. They're going to go for yet another defense kill. So this is getting bulky in defense. So here I was thinking, if they're going to get any more off, Sucker Punch may not kill. Then that'll be like totally salty there. Anyway, so they're going for a yet another defense kill here. Here I went for the assurance so I could uh, assure the death of the Kamala. And that is down. Thank God. That thing was a nightmare. By poor Tauros though. Like seriously, that was that complete savage. All right, so we have, uh, we have Slim Shady coming in here. He's going to go for the Sucker Punch on my Mighty in and take it out with a crit. I wasn't sure if that actually mattered there because I was running a bulky one. Um, I, I wasn't sure. Anyways, um, so swapping in Gyarados now. I've got Hydro Pump on this. I thought that would be my best bet there uh, to go on the Lycan Rock, which would finish it in one shot. Okay, so going for the Hydro Pump, I had speed, which is a nice little surprise there. It's got a Focus Sash. I'm like, okay, so if it's got a Focus Sash, it's either going to be a couple of things. It's either going to be Counter or some Reversal or something like that. So it's Counter. So I was very lucky that I was running the Special Set, and I didn't reveal it earlier on. So it's basically a wasted turn for the Lycanroc. Swapping its Stoutland here with the Intimidate on the uh, Lycanroc there. So I knew I could finish this with anything. Went for Sucker Punch. So here I was thinking, if I go for Sucker Punch again, let's go for the Toxic there. Unfortunately, it went for the Stone Edge there. I went for the Toxic there to get around it. Uh, it's going to go down regardless, but it would have been nice if they went for the Sucker Punch there. I wouldn't have taken any damage. That would have been the um, Lycan Rock that down there with no damage, but that's cool. Lycan Rock is down to a pretty damn even game here. We've both got two Pokemon left. Um, I've still got my uh, special Gyarados there and my Stoutland. This is where things start to get rather long, like something else. Why does that also come up in my videos? Anyway, so we have the Palisand here. Of course, this thing always means instant stall. But then it's going to go for the Rock Polish. So, guys, it's going to be a, a, a Speedy's Palisade. It's going to go for the Z move here, which is going to be the Bloom Doom on my Stoutland here. I'm running a special uh, defensive Stoutland, as I told you earlier on, with Rest, Sleep, Talk, Toxic, and Facade. I actually hadn't shown them that I didn't have anything to hit, so I was trying to stall them out to get that Toxic damage racked up enough so, you know, I didn't show them I had Facade until the last moment. Then I could get rid of it there. Anyways. So going for the Sleep Talk there, I get a Facade on the second one, so it's like bugger now, they know they got Facade. Um, they're going to keep going for the Psyche there, trying to probably drop my Special Defense, so it's a special one there. They can't go Shadow Ball there, because I'm a normal type. So I basically stalled out the Palisand there in the end, obviously trying to get a crit and Special Defense drops there. It didn't happen, and I'm going to get uh, Sleep Talk Rest, but it doesn't matter, because none of my moves, that was like the only time it didn't matter, none of my moves could affect the Palisand. Okay, so we have... The last Pokemon left, uh, sorry, there's two more Pokemon left there, the Articuno and the Quilladin. Now, the Quilladin I knew would be fairly bulky, so I was hoping I could get off the Toxic there, because quite often it doesn't have rest, it'll have something like my favorite healing move, or anything uh, anything else beside that there. Okay, so I got up the Toxic on the Quilladin there anyway, which is nice. It's going to go for the Leech Seed, which misses, which I didn't think mattered too much there, because I wasn't probably going to stay in much on this matchup. I had Gyarados with like Hurricane and Fire Blast, which I was definitely going to swap out into. Okay, so we have Gyarados. I was thinking Fire Blast would be my best option, right? Because Articuno is weak against it, and so is Quilladin. You know, that would be my best thing. You know, that would be my go-to thing there. Okay, so it's going to get the Leech Seed up on me here, which is good for the Quilladin there. It's going to be able to stall out some of my health there. 
Now, they had to make a decision whether they're going to leave their Quilladin against this or whether they're going to swap in their Articuno against this there. It was going to be a nuke either way. Like, it was going to do a lot of damage. I knew that it probably wouldn't take out both of them, but it'll get very, very close. Okay, so it does a fair amount of damage there to Quilladin, and it gets a Toxic up and the Leech Seed. So I'm like, bugger. If this has Protect, this could be problematic. Then it swaps into the Articuno if that outspeeds me. Uh, roost around me. This could start to be quite problematic there to try and get around. Anyways, so I've got the Toxic up on me and I've got, uh, sorry, I've got the Leech Seed too. So, but the good thing is I did a very big chunk of damage there. So someone had to take the hit there and doesn't have room to heal now. So it's going to have to swap out. So that's good. I like, it's on low health, this poison, so I can get to that maybe later on in the battle. All right, so a new Articuno would probably come into this one. It takes the Fire Blast very, very well due to its bulk there. And it's got Lefty. So I know, obviously, it's, it's invested in health and special defense. Its special defense stat is very nice already. Okay, so uh, here I'm going to get Leech Seated and the Articuno is going to get more health back. So I was like, joy, this is good. My saving grace, though, it was toxic. So it couldn't stall me out completely and utterly. Okay, so Quillan couldn't swap in. This is, it's basically a 1v1. So unfortunately there, it's going to outspeed me since I'm running max health, max special attack there. And it's going to be able to get the roost off. So that sucked there. So Fire Blast, which I'm locked into there, is not going to be doing uh, as much damage there. Um, you know, because they're able to get the roost off there and I'm not going to outspeed. So, what you know, this is, this is the thing here. I was thinking, I'm going to die to the Leech Seed and the Poison Damage because I'm going to struggle. Or I'm going to have to swap into Stoutland. But then it's going to start spamming Roost Lane. Then the Quilladin is going to come in and use my favorite healing move. And then it's going to become really messy. So here I'm thinking, I've got to really pressure this Articuno. I've really got to pressure it. They went for the hail there, probably predicting my swap, which I nearly, really nearly did. <laughs> and uh, that's the hail there, so it's going to get some more damage on my Pokemon, help out the Articuno there. Fire Blast misses. That was such an important miss there, because that would have been Articuno down, and, you know, my Stoutland would have been facing up against the Quillan. That was a very, very important miss there. Okay, anyway, so Garrus is going to go down to the uh, Toxic and the Leech Seed, unfortunately, and that really, really sucks. So that was a big miss there for me. Okay, so I got Stoutland still, which was a bulky defensive wall. I also had Rest there, so I knew that Toxic couldn't do much to me. I mean, they could go for Sky Drop, but it was going to do Monkeys anyway. So I knew that I could 100% win the matchup with the Articuno. Uh, I wasn't too sure about the Quillan there, um, since I wasn't running any investment in defense, whether it could heal off or anything like that. If it had Rest, I w those were unknowns at the moment. Okay, anyway, so Articuno is going to grab my Stoutland and uh, grab me into the Sky. Um, but the toxic damage is racking up there nicely, which I already knew it would uh, there too. Okay, so now it's going to go for the Sky Drop, releasing me there. I think I went for the for the Facade here just to finish off Articuno. Um, I'm going to get freed from the Sky Drop there. I'm going for the Facade, and that's going to be enough to take out the Articuno there. Okay, so the last Pokemon is the Quillan. This was a marathon battle, guys. I think it was about 35 or 36 turns. I'm getting close to 40. Anyways, uh, with all the Intimidate and all the Hail and that sort of thing, it really, um, the, the, the raw recording was quite long. Okay, so going for the Facade here, this ending was absolutely salty. They're going to leave there. Going for the Wood Hammer here, it's like, I've got Rocky Helmet, guys, i got this. It KOs me. However, the Rocky Helmet actually takes out the Quillan first, but they changed that mechanic in Gen 7, so the Rocky Helmet user actually faint second. So I ended up losing that one, but it was a draw. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I know I put victory there, but it was a draw. Peace.